everyone, my name is Katie Carson. I am one of the soap makers here at Royalty Soaps. Welcome to our channel, and if you're new around here, welcome for the very first time. This video is being uploaded on Monday, June 3rd, which means it is the June release day. So very quickly, per usual, I'm gonna run through a list of the artisan soaps that will be available tonight at royaltysoaps.com, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. For high tops, we have Lemon Verbena, Robin's Nest, Garden Guardian, and Bumblebee. And for low tops, we have Night Jasmine, Monet's Lily Pond, Blackberry Sage, and Activated Charcoal and Tea Tree. We will also have available candles and shampoo bars restocked. I know a lot of you guys were like, I didn't get one last release. Well, that's okay. We've made a lot more of them and they will also be available tonight. If you haven't signed up for our VIP newsletter, you're probably going to want to do that because there's a very special something in there this month. And I let you know what next month's theme is going to be before anybody else gets to know. William just started smiling this week. I'm going to try to see if I can get him to do that for the camera so you guys can see. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Now, if that won't set your Monday off right, I don't know what will. And without further ado, let's make some soap. I don't know what made me think of this. I don't know if it's because it's like lemon scented or something, but all I can think about is Plankton defining evil and saying every villain is lemons. That had nothing to do with the video. I, I don't know. The first thing we're going to do is pour our lye water solution into our oils. Lye can be purchased at a variety of places. Some people even have it unadulterated in their hardware store. I will leave my favorite online suppliers down in the description box below. And now using my Cuisinart stick blender that I got from Amazon, I'm going to blend this until just past emulsion. Reaching emulsion normally takes me anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. And now using my KD 7000 scale, KD as in the two letters, not my name, I'm gonna pour off my accent colors. And all that the accent colors have been removed from the base, we're gonna add the colorants. The first one I have here is Yellow Oxide. It is from Mad Micah's. We're gonna place that in this first small container. The second color we have is actually a custom blend. It is Green Vibrance Mica from Nurture and Three Olive Martini from Mad Micah's. I'm hoping that three olive martini will sort of knock down the neon tendencies of the green vibrance. And finally, for the largest container, we have True Yellow Micah. This is from TKB Trading. Alternatively, you could use Sunshine Yellow from Nurture Soap. And using the very smallest spatula that has ever existed, I am going to scrape this container out to make sure all the colorant is in the bucket. These spatulas were sent to me by the sweetest subscribers after Kenny and I talked about a finger spatula or a spatula that was small enough to fit into tiny containers. And honestly, I can't tell you how helpful they have been for getting every single thing I can out of these tiny cups. I'll leave you guys a link to them down below. Because my colorants were dispersed in oil first, I'm going to mix them in using my spatula. If I decide later that these two yellows are too similar in color, I will add a little bit of titanium dioxide to this large one, but it doesn't appear that that's going to be much of a problem because I know that this yellow is going to lighten a little bit over time and this one is going to stay relatively the same. With all of the color blended in, it is now time to add our fragrance oil. The fragrance oil we're using today is actually a fragrance oil essential oil blend available at Wholesale Supplies Plus called Lemon Verbena. By the way, how do you say it? Do you say it Verbena? No? or verbena. I personally say lemon verbena, but I'm pretty sure that it's a regional thing. Also, this fragrance oil is fantastic. Lemons tend to go either one of two ways. They either go towards the clean lemon smell, like a pledge sort of scent, or they go down the candy lane where it smells like lemon drops. This lemon is neither one of them. It is the perfect sort of herbaceous lemon that still has the tartness of the true lemon fruit. Upon reflection and adding in the fragrance soil, I have decided to add just a teeny tiny bit of titanium dioxide into this large container. I 
went ahead and blended all three colors with my stick blender. So now it is time to mix them and we're gonna do a reverse dragon swirl for this one. So I'm gonna pour all the green on one side, just like so. I said we were gonna do a reverse dragon and now I've changed my mind. <laughs> we're gonna do a really interesting random in the pot. <laughs> I just didn't want all the colors to clump in one area. That's the main reason why I changed my mind. I've changed my mind quite a few times with this soap. That's another thing I love about soap making is that it's pretty versatile. You can kind of do what you want. So we are gonna take this entire pot of soap and pour it into our two Brambleberry molds after this quick commercial break. A lot of people have asked me why I say after this quick commercial break because you may or may not get a commercial there, but I, as a creator, can put commercials wherever I want in my videos. So I always place two of them where I say this quick commercial break, but it just may or may not show up on your specific session. So that's why some people get it and some people don't. But I always like to let my audience know when a commercial break might happen and I try to leave extra extra room and a little bit of extra buffering for the audio. That way if you do get one, it's not gonna cut off anything important that I say and you know when it's coming your way. I don't know, it just feels courteous to me. It's really annoying in my opinion to watch videos and someone's right in the middle of the sentence and then an ad comes off, it kinda cuts off their sentence and you don't really know what they were trying to say. Now that I have scrapey scrapied out in my big containy and have tapped down the molds so they are much flatter on top and there's no cracks on the ends, we're going to mix up the soap frosting. My soap frosting is all set up and I have ladled some true yellow mica mixed with oil in stripes down the side of the piping bag. This particular design is really giving me some throwback vibes from some of the original royalty soaps creations. Back in the day, I was really into mica lining the bag. I did tons and tons of colors, lots of glitz and glam, and we're still doing stuff like that nowadays, but it wasn't as extreme as it was back then then. And this color green is not going to stay this color green. It's going to brighten up and get a lot more cheery and it's going to blend a lot better with that yellow we have. I'm going to wait to finish that middle out until I fill out the piping bag again because the yellow is coming out so pretty. I don't want to waste it on the inside. I want you to be able to see it on the outside. You know, the first time I smelled a lemon verbena type fragrance, I think was a Mrs. Myers fragrance. Did they have a lemon verbena at one point I feel like they did. Mrs. Myers is both my mom's and my own guilty pleasure. Those hand soaps are so much more expensive than other hand soaps but my goodness the fragrances. I don't even think they perform that much better than other hand soaps but the fragrances are just to die for. Now I purposefully put the frosting on in such a way that there wouldn't be a really high peak in the middle. You can see I did my three and then my two, and then I only have this much left. So basically, I'm just gonna make that one last middle place slightly more level without like a little gap in it. But we're not mounding it up today. And it doesn't matter if there's a few tiny little holes here on top because we're actually gonna put the embed straight on the top. It's so rare. I normally put it on the side. Today, we're putting it on the top. But before we do so, I'm gonna spritz it with Sparkle Me Gold. This is one of the fairy dusters from Mad Micah. For the second glitter, I'm going to be using some gold iridescent eco glitter. This is from the Brambleberry Soiree collection. It's a really stunning glitter that has sort of a white appearance to it, so it doesn't lean silver, it leans white. And then the sparkles are gold, so it's really perfect for this soap. No hollow today, I'm afraid. And for the final touch before I put the embeds in, I have rolled some bathwater crystals from Wholesale Supply 
Lives Plus in 24 karat gold mica from TKB Trading. And I am just gonna sprinkle those down the sides, focusing on the sides mainly just because the top is gonna have the embed on it. And now for the lemons. The lemons were made using my embed process. You can see a video of that right now. I'll make it pop up in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And the silicone mold I use is actually an ice cube tray that I'll link down below for you guys. So I'm just gonna put one little lemon on the top of each soap here. And it's not gonna be too tall because like I said before, I didn't mound up the piping. I can't wait to see what this looks like tomorrow. I tried to make a lemon soap that wasn't too like tooty fruity, but still had a little bit of pizzazz, you know what I'm saying? We might end up giving it a quick spritz with something sparkly. That way the edges of the lemon and the detail work kind of show. I know this might not be the first thing folks think of when they think of a garden, but it has special significance to me because my mother had a lemon tree in her garden a long time ago. It actually got really healthy and we got quite a few lemons from it and they were really good. I'm pretty sure it died in a frost, I think. I don't remember how it ended up perishing, but my mom was distraught when it happened. Also, it just reminds me of all the citrus trees that are always blooming in California and bear fruit in the summertime and in the springtime and they're everywhere. Gosh, they're everywhere. Just climbing out of people's backyards. It was nuts to me whenever I went. I'm gonna put these last few on here real quick. Awesome. And then before I spritz with rubbing alcohol, I'm gonna take just a little bit of that gold glitter and spritz the fronts of the lemons, like I said, so that that detail kind of stands out. Now I will spritzity spritz with the rubbing alcohol. Man, I dig it. And the lemon verbena soap is done. And this is what it looks like up close. I'm digging those little lemons just chilling on the top. And like I said, don't worry, that ugly green will turn tomorrow. It will end up looking so much better and more cohesive for the fragrance. So I'm going to let this sit for 18 to 24 hours and then we will come back and we will chop them into bars and take a peep at the inside after this quick commercial break. We're back! And check out the side of this loaf. It's psychedelic. I love it. And it really is sort of giving me like the classic royalty soaps vibes. All right, lined everything up. So now I'm gonna press down with Kermit, my multi-bar cutter. I will pull one out of the middle and this is what it looks like on the inside. Oh my gosh, the swirl is so much fun. And I love the bits of yellow on top in the green piping. This one just came together so beautifully. Yeah, look up here in the piping. You can see almost like little mica lines all throughout the top. Okay, so the question of the day is one that you have to answer down in the comment section. It's not like a yes or no question. It's kind of a share your experience type question. This was totally Caleb's idea, but he is unable to be with me right now, so he went ahead and texted me the question. So it's, what's an oh crap moment when you realize you've been doing something the wrong way for years? So for me, I figured this one out like a month ago that I have been pouring almond milk out of the container wrong my whole entire life. I always pour it when you have like the little long spigot. I always pour it this way so that it splashes all over my bowl. Whereas if I would just turn the container and pour it out the other way, it wouldn't splash at all. And Caleb just told me, Katie, you are so pouring that wrong. And I am like 24 years old. <laughs> I will also say something that I did wrong for a really long time, which is 100% Kenny's fault. Hey. <laughs> is pronouncing the word cache. I pronounced it wrong for years because Kenny said cache when we were like 12 and it just got ingrained in my brain. And so I said cache forever. And again, it was something that Caleb was like, you know, it's cache, right? And I really felt dumb and we were dating at the time. And I was like, he's gonna think I am the stupidest person ever. And it was all because of little Kenny at 12 years old trying to explain something about the computer to me. I think for me personally, you didn't ask, but for me. Because <laughs> I, I, I didn't really care about your opinion, but since you want to share anyway, I guess I'll let you. I'll say that an oh crap moment for me was actually recently about my hair and figuring out that you're not supposed to wash your hair every single night. Oh. <laughs> which 
since forever I've been doing that, since we got shampoo bars, plug, 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 then I have <laughs> changed my ways and I'm not nuking my hair anymore. Well, see, look, that's like three things that we just mentioned right there, but I have a feeling some people are actually gonna have to sit and think about this one because when I first read it, I did. I had to like sit and be like, what's something that I've just been screwing up forever? So y'all have to let us know. I read almost all the comments. Kenny reads every single one of the comments and we are gonna be super we're curious to see what you guys say. Also, I'm holding up these three bars to try to see if anybody can find a face or an image in them. Is anybody seeing anything? Let us know that too down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment down below. Be sure you sign up for the VIP newsletter listed down below. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, I have one. Kenny has one. Royalty Soaps has one. They'll pop up right over here somewhere so that you guys know where to go. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is trying a new hairstyle. That's what I've done today. I was very inspired by the 1960s with the hair and makeup. Or snatching yourself an oddly flavored ice cream or gelato. As an example, lemon lavender. Very, very strange, but very, very good. Either way, do something that makes you happy and we'll see you guys on Wednesday where we will announce next month's theme, unless you're a VIP, in which case you'll already know. Bye for now.